we were in a band for 15 years before we called it quits the first time. And you just get on autopilot, it's kind of just, you know, you, you know what you're doing, you've done it for so long and you do it well and it's almost like you don't even have to think anymore. But there's a danger with that, it's almost like you lose the heart of it and you lose the passion, you lose the, the things that really make something great, you know. And so for me, having a chance to kind of not be able to do music was the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, having that rug pulled out from under me and like me turned up on my head and me trying to balance on my head all of a sudden and going, wow, this feels really weird. I've never done this before. Uh, that was amazing, you know. It stripped me of my comfort zone. It stripped me of everything that I was holding on to. And it made me think again. It made me like dream again. It made me like chase God again. It made me chase my family again, you know. It made me realize what I loved about how God gifted me, you know, and then eventually what I really missed about what He gifted me. And so for me, I mean, I, it was a real growing process. It was a real uh, going deeper with my, my family and my wife and God and my church. And I think in looking back, it was only Him preparing me for this new season though, you know, and I think all of us have been sort of walking through some of those similar situations, you know, of like not knowing or wondering what we should do or do I go this way or that way and, and uh, I think God has brought us together in a very beautiful kind of organic way and our paths have collided now and it's for this great, you know, great vision of being back out here and serving the poor and doing things differently. My, my goal this time around is to do it differently, be more intentional, be more uh, passionate and be more loving and kind and take every situation like at that moment, just for what that moment is, instead of just blowing through it like it's, oh, it's just another whatever, you know. And the break for me too was finding my identity. You know, a lot of it before when I was playing drums with other bands, that was my identity. It was how good of a drummer do other people think I am? How many records are we gonna sell on this new release? Like, that was my constant, and it was like. I still told people that, oh, I'm doing this, you know, because God's called me to do it. I'm with this great band. And, and it was. It was all of that. But to really, like, live those days and then go through another life after that and find what my identity is in Christ and what really matters instead of how many records we sell or how many kids are at our shows, you know, it, it puts things into perspective. Um, and it really, kind of for the question before, too, I think it taught me how to take a day at a time and you know we're called to to tick up our cross daily you know and get in the word um, but I couldn't have done that and these guys couldn't have done that without the help of our community and our family you know and I found that God gave us pastors he gave us youth ministers and each other as brothers our families is probably the biggest, but some people don't have that. Um, but I would say don't ever be afraid to ask somebody for help or to say you're feeling weird about something. You know, it's that that helped me in the past was just to be open with someone that I trusted. Um, and it's crazy. You, you would think that they're going to think, man, you're crazy. Like, what are you talking about? You're doing that what are you doing to yourself? And it's like, they don't, they don't think of you that way. That's the voice that Will was saying we have inside of our head that makes you kind of become more of a recluse. And that's what you don't want, you know, that's, that's what's scary. Um, so I would just say, take it a day at a time and be open, be open with someone, you know, that really cares about you.